Santos post-match here with Maria Maloney. Maria, obviously not the result we wanted, but such a significant day for the club. How are you feeling? Um, yeah, I think, I've, as you said, definitely not the result we wanted, but um, I think as a club it's been amazing. The amount of support and everything from the fans and the club itself um, and every, everybody else behind it, the staff, has been amazing. So it, it felt really, really amazing to have all that support behind us. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the job done um, for them today, but you know we've got nine more rounds, so we'll look on to next week, review this, and go on to next week. So, you just came out of the team meeting. What was Lauren's message? Um, yeah, Loz was obviously pretty disappointed, like um, like we all were, I suppose. Um, there was a, a couple of good things to take away from it, but overall, I think you know we were very disappointed because. You know, we sort of lost it in in the end, and we, we could have we could have come away with a win, but um, wasn't meant to be. So I think we'll learn a lot from it, um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully, won't be making the same mistakes twice. Today is the first step in our journey. What what do the girls take out of this? Um, I think just the first hit out, like you know, hopefully a lot of the girls have managed to get a couple of those nervous jitters and all that sort of stuff out of the system. Um, it was amazing. We had, I can't remember how many debutantes, but we had a lot of debutantes. Um, that was amazing and obviously the first time pulling on the jersey um, for a lot of people, which is, you know, mean, means so much to most of the people here. So I think, you know, we've got one down, we've got our, our big first game out of the way. So now hopefully we can knuckle down and try and get some wins for the rest of the season. Can you speak to what it was like pre-game running out onto the ground for the first time as Port Adelaide's AFLW team? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, the, it was very, very exciting. Um, I think a lot of the girls had their family here, so there was a, a lot of um, family and friends here, and also there was a lot of Port fans here, so they were cheering us on. Um, and I think the energy like within the room was just so high. Everyone was so excited, um, you know, and just because everybody's done so much to, to get here, staff, players, you know, big decisions, life-changing decisions, um, and to finally get that first run out and game done, um, I think it's all, you know, those decisions start to pay off sort of thing. So, As you said, we had eight debutantes today. That really impressed. How exciting was it to see them out there in action? Yeah, it was so good. Um, so, so happy for those girls. Um, they've come in and worked so hard. Um, and yeah, I mean, all their, all their work's paid off and some of them are still at school, so they're juggling that. Like, that's just, you know, really amazing, you know, for, for them, I suppose. So they've got such a long career ahead of them. Um, so yeah, it was great to have them out there and they, they didn't look a, a foot out of place sort of thing. You know, they looked real comfortable, so. And a special milestone for Justine today. Can you talk to the impact she's made on the group in such a short time? Yeah, jo Josie's been amazing. Um, she provides so much leadership around the group um, and she's just a ball of fun and a ball of energy. She's so, so good to be around. She's so good for the group, I think. Um, and obviously she's a great footy player as well, which is a bonus, I suppose. But um, yeah, she's so much fun, Josie. So it was so upsetting that we couldn't get the win for her today. But... Um, you know, like, we love that she got to play a 50th game in Port Colours, so. And next week is another first with our first home game. I, I bet the group can't wait to play in front of the Alberton crowd. Yeah, I think the group's really, really excited to play um, at home with the fans. We've obviously had the pre-season and over that time we learnt so much about the history of the club and the importance of the Port Adelaide club to that community and, well, the community that we're now a part of. So I think the girls... They just feel so welcome. They just really want to get out there and perform, you know, on the home deck, hopefully, with lots of family and friends and hopefully a lot of fans get down as well. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Maria. Thank you.